so in this video we will learn about getx service and I will tell you guys about the working of a getx service just in a while but first let me tell you that is the similar code that we wrote in the previous video before and we will edit something right in here first we will remove that and after this remove that and then in here we will change this to getx service just write in here getx service after this copy this line and paste it down in here there we go after this we will remove that from the elevated button right in the on press there we go just scroll up so now what we will do we will simply change this main function to future just write in here like f u t u r future there we go and in here with the less sign and in here with the greater sign write like this and after main because they will be async so write in here async there we go and now in there we will call upon the init services function so write in here await and then init we will create that function just in a while right in here so it will also be a future so right in here future so now right in here there will be a white and after it the init services there we go this will be async and right in there so in here now we will print the message and we will say this is the start of service so there we go semicolon after this await now we will call the get dot put async method right in here so write get dot put async we will code here right just in a while but first we will go to the control dot dot right in here and we will change the class name in here because you are working with the getx service and we will rename this as a service right in here service and in here we will remove that controller and write service as you guys can see in here and in here this will be a future so write in here future and after this less than sign the void and then greater than sign there we go and now the code in here will be similar so basically the class name in here is service and we will copy that from here the class name so now go back to the main dot dot and you will use that in here just paste it there we go now we will simply initialize the service class in here so simply write in here basically this will be async so first there will be async and after it in here write await and then the service class name so in here just write it like this close it with semicolon after this we will print a message and here we will say the services are about to start there we go now scroll down we will remove that line of code because we don't need that 
and it's from the previous video there we go and now in here the text you will change that to the increment button button there we go now a little work in the on pressed right in here we will say get dot find we will simply find the service class right in here so right in here service instance of service class there we go and after this we will simply call the increment method that we created in the control dot dot right in here as you guys can see that service class in here we will simply call that increment method just copy from here now go back to the main dot dot and paste it in here semicolon there we go so basically that's all the code for a get service now let me tell you about the get service basically a get service is a uh, similar to the getx controller with the same lifecycle methods like on it on ready and on close but the only difference is that that getx service notifies the getx dependency injection system and that it should not be removed from the memory the only way to remove the getx service from the memory is to close the ape or you guys can manually call the method name as get.reset so basically that's the difference between getx service and the getx controller so now we will go and run the application and see the result just simply click in here it will take some time just wait for a while So now if I press in on this increment button, it will show the output as you guys can see in here, it's count 16 times because we already used that button 16 times. I mean we click on this several times and basically they showed us the output, it's count 16 times because we pressed on it 16 times. So basically that's it for this video and we will work further in the next video.